Happy experience. Now, well, a little trivia lang mga kapuso ha. Itong sport na ito ay actually nagsimula pa sa England noong 1954 at tinatawag ito na Octo Push. Octo dahil walo yung originally players sa na naglalaro nito at push dahil yung equipment na ginagamit nila ay actually tinatawag na pusher. Ang sport na ito ay nagde-develop ng kakayahan ng mga swimmers na lumangoy at sumisad. Right, partner? Ano? Ano ang suot mo? <laughs> ano yan? Wala talaga akong baby. Wala ko talaga yung toddler. Pero ito talaga What's yung nila. Okay. It's mga, well, part of the gear na sin uh, sinusuot ng mga underwater hockey players. Mm -hmm. This is their headgear na ginagamit sa water polo. Okay. Ginagamit rin nila. Alright. So, pero for all gears naman, pag-usapan natin yung with uh, si Joel. Joel. Yes, sir Joel. It's like the number one underwater hockey player in the Philippines. Wow! It's an honor. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right, so sir, ano po ba yung mga equipment and gears na kailangan for underwater hockey? Natulad na sa so, akin, partner. Okay, uh, let's start off with the basic level. Mask, snorkel, and things. So the mask, for you to see the game underwater. Okay. And the snorkel, so you can actually see the game. Uh, you, you can actually breathe uh, while you're seeing the game. And then the fins to propel yourself. Okay. And then the sticks. Ito, yung ginaga ito po yung ginagamit for uh, playing, yes. Uh, this is the sticks. Tapos, you have the headgear for mm -hmm. protection. Okay. And then the gloves. Tapos, yung ako sock. And then the uh, fin straps. Tapos, ito yung puck. The puck. Okay, of course, kahit sa marami sa atin na hindi pa rin alam kung yung totoong hockey, ay gusto ko lang i-compare sa real hockey. Uh, sa hockey stick, that is relatively shorter Short. than the actual hockey stick, no? Ano uh, Makes sense. Ano yung okay. size po niya? This is about one foot. One, one foot. foot. Okay. Maximum siya actually. Sa, it's made out of? Um, nor, uh, in, in the olden days, it was made of wood. wood. In, uh, a lot wood. of uh, old players still prefer the wood. Pero, Pero yung ngayon, ngayon they, they actually develop different materials like uh, plastic or compound materials. So, okay. marami okay. ng, kumbaga, development yung iba. Uh, kumbaga sa ibang sports, sa uh, tennis racket, dati kahoy, ngayon graphite na kumbaga may development na sa sport. And then the ball, of course, which is the puck. Th this is Sobrang, the puck. mas definitely heavier than the normal puck. Oh yeah, definitely. Kailangan kasi mabigat para lumubog siya. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, 3, pounds. 3 pounds. 3 pounds, okay. Ni Arnold, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> you know, <wait>. but, <laughs> but of course, when it's submerged uh, underwater, it becomes lighter, so you can um, a bit, no? Yung mass niya becomes a bit lighter. Lighter, uh, so that you can push it around uh, using your hockey stick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can. Uh, you'd be surprised that this thing actually flies. Eh? In that the water. flies? Yes, it flies in the water. You can actually flick it. So, kaya kailangan ng goggles para protection. Yeah, yung mask kailangan two two lens na mask okay. dahil. Uh, yung pag single lens siya, may tendency, uh, baka may possibility na mag-break yung lens pag tumama ito sa mask. Pero okay. bawal na bawal naman yun. So, bihirang nangyayari. It's just for protection. Okay. Alam mo, parang, you know, of course, that's the first step no, to identify yung gear na ginagamit ng mga underwater hockey players. I think kanina pinapakita na yung video kung saan naglaro ako for just a few minutes tapos na hindi ko na nakayanan dahil nga, you know, I ran out of breath. Yun yun eh, parang I think, di ba, sa underwater hockey, you develop this underwater... Uh, skill. Skill. No, 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 parang you... Breathing. Di ba, parang, yeah, you, the breath hold. The breath hold, that, yeah, yeah, that's what you call so it. So you develop a lot of, uh, uh, ano eh, um, anaerobic na, na resistance. So you, you begin to be able to uh, hold your breath longer tapos as you do it, for a long time, it becomes aerobic na rin. Yes. Kasi we play more than an hour sometimes in a day. Okay. Kanina, actually, kanina yeah. you were, uh, actually, kanina pinakita natin sa monitor, yung parang metal, yung sheet, no? That's actually the goal. The goal. Kung saan nilalagay itong pop. And that's me uh -huh. running out of breath. <laughs> so, kumusta naman yung experience ng underwater hockey? Actually, yun nga yung pag-uusapan natin yata natin sa aming pagbabalik. Kasi mahaba-haba yung kwento ko, Mon. <laughs> Marami ba talaga ikaw oh, narunasan dyan? Mahaba-haba yung kwento ko, pero maiksi yung hiling ako. So, <laughs> <laughs> so mamaya, ishare mo sa amin kung kumusta ang naging experience mo dyan. I'm sure susubukan mo rin. Um, okay, ishare mo na lang yung experience mamaya. <laughs> So, kapakita natin more footage of me playing and me looking like this. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Bagay sa'yo, partner. Alright, so yung pagbabalik, more of underwater hockey. So, back to studio muna.